Good evening. Most Gibraltarians will agree that little else is as important as the provision of excellent healthcare. We also rightly expect that the government should fund our health services. For the past four years, I have indicated the commitment of the GSLP Liberals to ensure proper and wide-ranging investment in our health services, including mental health and care for the disabled and, of course, for the elderly. The problems experienced by hundreds of users of the health service have continued throughout the last mandate of the GSD and, in our view, have not been properly addressed or put right. Already in this election campaign, as they have done over the last four years, the only response of the GSD is to accuse us of inventing your problems. But unlike the GSD's negative campaign, I do not want today to get into the underhand tactics of obfuscation. People are tired of the politics of insults and the politics of confrontation. I do not want to talk about that deplorable handling of the poor state of the ambulances. I do not want to talk about their misguided spending priorities and the provision of expensive public toilets and a pharaonic airport over the construction of a much needed mental health hospital. Instead, I want to concentrate on what a GSLP Liberal government will do for you if we have the honour to form your next government. In the first place, we believe it is crucial that we listen to the local staff. It is our view that the staff on the ground is the one that is best place to identify and to advise us of the inadequacies of the present system and to advise us on how to remedy any shortcomings. Let us be clear that the best person for the job, regardless of nationality, should be chosen. But let us also be equally clear that we're not going to import managers from outside merely because they're so-called experts. The GSLP Liberals, in office, will prioritise the completion of an Alzheimer's and dementia facility at the old Naval Hospital and of a geriatric ward at the old St Bernard staffed by the care agency. We will do this in order to provide beds for those that are presently in medical wards at St Bernard's Hospital. As you know, the presence of patients occupying beds at St Bernard's is delaying the treatment of other patients. The GSLP Liberals, therefore, will also provide a respite home for those in need of that facility. Equally as important, we will allocate resources to enable support for home care for dementia and Alzheimer's patients and also provide family carers the necessary assistance from the health service. As a government, we will always plan for the future and nowhere is this more important than in evaluating the future needs and mechanisms for early diagnosis so that the provision of resources for the next four years increase in accordance with the anticipated demand for services. Even the GSD accept that the quality of care of patients with mental illnesses is in desperate need of improvements and modernisation. Sadly, they simply have taken far too long to move on this crucial issue. A GSLP Liberal government is therefore committed to the completion of a new KG5 facility. In addition, we acknowledge the need for sheltered accommodation for patients with long-term mental illnesses who are in a position to look after themselves and who today have been left alone in the community. With the advice, of course, of the relevant professionals, we will determine how to make sure that the new mental health facilities are the best that our community can provide. And at the centre of our philosophy in health is our intention to concentrate on the importance of prevention of illness and not just in curing them. An initiative that we will implement will therefore be a permanent health education programme. One of the aims will be to target children, but also adults, of course, to encourage healthy eating, a healthy lifestyle, how to prevent illnesses and screening for diseases. And in order to measure the success of this initiative, the incidence of different illnesses in each age group will be recorded over a number of years. Inextricably linked to the above is the commitment 
of the GSLP Liberals to ban smoking in enclosed public places. Gibraltar must take its place among modern European nations in this field. Even most smokers accept that smoking is dangerous and we in the GSLP Liberals accept the overwhelming evidence that points to smoking as a source of cancer and other health related problems. Not only will we introduce a ban on smoking in enclosed places in Gibraltar, but the GSLP Liberals will also introduce a programme to help those wanting to stop smoking to actually do so. And we will not even stop there. The GSLP Liberals will offer bars, social clubs and restaurants generous tax and rate incentives to soften any potential loss of business as a result of the smoking ban. Even our critics will agree that this is an important progressive step for Gibraltar that should enjoy cross-party support, not least because scientific evidence suggests that smoking in confined places is dangerous for passive smokers, especially young children. The GSFP Liberals will therefore introduce a permanent anti-smoking campaign in schools and in youth. What I've been talking to you tonight are only parts of our very exciting programme for government. Gibraltar is ready for a change of government. Vote for all 10 GSLP Liberal candidates and for change you can trust. Thank you for listening. Good night. Well, it's time for change, time for change. future is in our hands. Take a good look around. Be someone that hears our demands. This time we can make it count. There is hope in the air. There's a will to declare that it's time for change.